the fact that there's only 20% of publicly accessible beach along the shoreline of Lake Erie really makes a place like this special. And you know, this could have been condos. This could have been a lakefront restaurant some, of some kind, but it's not because people had vision. This is now part of the People's Park. Nathan Manning here in uh, beautiful Vermilion, Ohio, uh, right on Lake Erie. Uh, talking about the capital budget and all the great things that we're able to, to help both Erie and Lorain County with and uh, working with Mayor Forthover uh, to preserve this beautiful land and, and help improve it. Uh, it really shows what capital budget can do uh, when you're teaming up with uh, local officials to get these great projects done. Which is going to be the walkways starting right about here winding up and around the hill, coming down across by the uh, lighthouse, all the way down the beach over to the river. You've seen how beautiful it is here and how important it is for, for families and generations to come here and uh, enjoy this beautiful lake. We have really been honored and, and pleased to see that we've see, received such great support from the Ohio State Senate and the House. It's tremendous to see that there's a lot of public uh, funding that's coming towards this project because it really is a project that's meant for the public. The view is just phenomenal. Yeah. Now it's everybody's. Lake Erie is so important to, to us as a community, but to us as a state as well. It's really a great resource uh, for, for many things and with H2 Ohio and other um, you know, investments that we've made in Lake Erie, it's so important. But also just to allow the, you know, the citizens from, from all over the place come to Vermilion and enjoy this great lakefront. When Senator Manning you know, uh, helped arrange for the money for this, I mean, whether this piece of property was in Vermilion or anywhere else, you've got to take some responsibility for this. This is just such an opportunity for people to enjoy the lake that you can't not fund it. And we're very appreciative that you did. This area, uh, the Vermilion Beach, is a really special place. Um, there's such a great attraction here and I think over the last four or five years as we've been working with the city, with the residents of this town, um, we've really come to understand that partnerships is key when taking on a big project like this. The funding of 125000 from the capital budget is what's going to be one of the first uh, seed monies in the private donations that are hopefully to come to create the rest. We've found that when we have a good communications, when we have good coordination with the city, with the mayor's office, with the parks board, uh, when we have donors who come out and support this project, when we have um, city, uh, the, the residents of the community that are coming out to support this project, it just makes it so much more special. But this is our identity. I mean, this is why Vermilion was founded, where the river and the lake meet. That's what became the boat building enterprises back in the early 1800s, and then fishing enterprises. So this is our identity, and we can never let that go. To turn this, this gem in Vermilion into a shining bright diamond has been a real honor and a real pleasure for us. I just came from a meeting where they were talking about having Sunday concerts. They're moving them from a inside park to down, down here right next to the uh, lighthouse. This is our identity and yeah. you just can't ignore it. This is how Vermilion was founded. This is what made us. So thank you for your help.